Greetings everybody, in this video I will show you how to create a bootable flash drive for Linux and use it without installing on your computer so that you can use it for jailbreaking, downgrading or testing. It works fine with Chakrain and Future Restore or any other tool that requires Linux. First of all you have to download this ISO file for X Ubuntu. It is a lightweight Linux version. Go to this website, you will find the website in the description, scroll down and you will see X Ubuntu 18. Download it from here. I have already downloaded this ISO file. Next, you will need Rufus. Again, go to the web page and click download now. Scroll down and download the latest version of Rufus. Now that when you have these two files, open Rufus as an administrator. Connect a USB flash drive at least 2 GB in size. Drag and drop this ISO file onto Rufus. You won't have to change anything in the settings. Just click start. Click OK. Write in ISO image mode. Click OK. Click OK again. Now this will create a bootable flash drive for Linux for you. This can take about a minute or two. Now it is almost done. When it is done, you will see ready here and your USB is made. Now we will restart the computer and I will show you how to use it without installing. After restarting your computer, go to the boot manager or the boot option menu. You can go to the boot option menu or boot manager by pressing F9 or F12 depending on your computer's manufacturer. You can make a Google search with the computer's model and make on how to enter the boot option menu or boot manager. You will see the USB that we have created in step one as USB hard drive. Just press enter on it. This will start loading X Ubuntu, the Linux version that we are using. When the booting is complete, you will see this menu. Please select your language from here and click try Ubuntu. Now we are in Linux X Ubuntu without installing it. You can check out that you can just connect to your Wi-Fi and then you can use check rain or future restore for downgrading or any other testing without making changes to your actual hardware. Everything from mouse to keyboard to Wi-Fi is working perfectly fine using this method. That's all for this video guys. If you still have questions, please ask in the comment section and I will reply you as soon as possible. I will see you in a new video. Goodbye.